Mike, how do you spell Birkenstocks? It's not called Bockenstocks, okay? B I R K. Okay, I don't know how to spell the rest. But it's definitely at least not Bockenstocks. It's Birkenstocks. N- n- well, I'm like, but what is it? I don't know what it is. A Birkenstock is a sandal brand uh, worn I... by dock rangers around the world. M- m- Birkenstocks more... and socks. More like Birkenstocks for the 1%. No. <laughs> for the rich hippies. Yeah, yeah, 1%. 0.1% like. I, 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 being okay, rich I... and being a hippie isn't. Yeah, yeah, mutually yeah. Mutually compatible all the time. <laughs> I originally thought that your argument was no, no, it's not the one percent. It's like the ten percent. I'm like, like, wait, no, what? And then you see zero point one percent. I'm like, oh, okay, I can understand that now. Yeah. That's fine. Actually, in saying that, welcome back. Oh my god, the exams! The exams were they're over. Um, welcome back to the Asia Other Side of Podcast. This is, has been a a three week hiatus for us, even though you know. You guys have been getting content on a... Semi-regular. I forgot to upload the last one last week because I had, like, two exams. Basis. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Semi-regular. Yeah. I'm very sorry. No, yeah, yeah. But, but like, it's it's okay. It's okay. okay. Um, in saying that, how, how was the whole study situation? How, how did it go for you? Tiring. Tiring? I'm kind of glad it's over now. Um, I did give you some advice. Did you? Did you completely abandon it after about two days? No. 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 Did you abandon it after hours? No. Or minutes? No. <laughs> Seconds? No. Okay. <laughs> but but saying that, do you, do you feel? Ah, uh, we'll call it we'll call it seventy five percent confidence. I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm just. I'm never quite too sure what my results are going to be until I get my results. Yeah, and for those of you playing at home, uh, that is a Z score of plus or minus 1.2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Z score of uh, 1.96 yeah, it is, is, I think, 95%, right? I did QMB. Well done. Thank you. Well done. And like um, 68% is is one so yeah yeah hence the reason i came with the 1.2 <laughs> nice yeah anyway i do have a bit of a surprise for you today and then afterwards we'll be talking oh about... surprise yeah and afterwards we'll be talking about fans and how to be a good fan a bad fan and maybe a worldly fan yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I, I i was gonna say either to the computer people around oh, we have it, i actually have two surprises for you sorry yeah i was thinking that either on a computer scenes go um, are you talking about a 72 millimeter or a 120 millimeter fan? If you're talking about a, oh, oh, what, what about? Is it, are we talking about oscillating fans today? No. The one you push a button and it starts rotating around oh, the room. Oh damn! Where has it gone? Where has it gone? Have, have have you mistaken it? I forgot. Oh, never mind. You're only getting my surprise today. I'm very sorry. I'm I, I'm a, I'm assuming that Francis stole it. Yeah, Francis Stoll, who I was yeah. supposed to give you today. Yeah, if, uh, you, if you don't know who Francis is, Francis is Sophie's hedgehog plushie. Yeah, the only hedgehog plushie, it turn, as it turns out, because I can't find any more. Yeah, but in saying that, considering that when I went home, I brought my childhood plushie up with me. Uh, oh, so cute. Pooch with a one O. Yeah, Pooch with one O, because, you know, when you're a kid, you, you don't know how to spell something with two O's. It's, yeah. It's faded, wow. Yeah, You've it's... had it for a long time. Yeah, it's that faded. Wow, made in Taiwan. And you can see how it's a, how it's a sleeping bear. Yeah. Because of how dreary its eyes are. Yeah, it's heavier than yours. It's a drowsy... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's heavier than my eyes, yes. Where's, uh, what, Tesla over there? Yes. Bright eyed. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you know how you like your milk chocolates? Your Whitaker's five rolled <laughs> to ridiculous millimeter. Now, now, what, okay, because Whitaker's creamy milk chocolate 
fascinates me because it's so scientific that it is rolled to six microns. Yeah. That's the part that always gets me because I like I could just eat I could just I I can treat that sort of chocolate like a hard boiled lolly. Yeah. For example, yeah, that would be the best way to describe it. Anyway, the surprise of the day is this. I want, I actually want to do a new thing for the podcast called um, uh, what's it? Overpriced? No, not overpriced. Uh, what's what is it when you actually overhype something? Overhype something? Yeah, it's like a it's overvalued or overappreciated. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know what the word is, but we'll like we'll just go with. Um, with, with the Epsom style, maybe? Uh, no, no, no. Um, I, what's that word? It's uh, overhyped, over, overappreciated. When you, when you have... The, I hate it when you can't quite grasp the word you want. It's Birkenstock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, overhyped, overvalued. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, Overpriced. Um, um, uh, over, okay, overpriced things from Pharaohs. Oh, over, over overpriced you, things from overpriced things from Pharaohs. You went to Pharaohs. I went to Pharaohs. Yeah, what, what was the organic section? Everything. Yes. <laughs> okay, overpriced things at Pharaohs. Wellington, Wellington Esquire. No, Wellington established chocolate. Factory established in twenty no Wellington Chocolate Factory established in twenty thirteen, and it's a coconut milk chocolate. Okay. Wellington Chocolate Factory. We make all our chocolate from freshly roasted, stone ground, organic, ethnically, ethnically no, ethnically, ethnically, ethically, ethically. We make all our chocolate from freshly roasted, stone ground, organic, ethically traded cow cow beans. But this wasn't the most pretentious chocolate bar I've seen. Um, there was one particular chocolate bar made from a similar company, and they only get their beans from True Trees. Wow. Wow. I'm like, did you get those trees out the back in like the, in like a glass house made with gold frame, and you worship it twice a day? Oh. <laughs> okay. uh... uh... Yeah, yeah, I, 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 was going, I was going for the Bohemian chant here. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, um, here's the ingredients. Oh, overhyped. Overhyped things from Pharaohs. That's what the new section is called. Overhyped things from Pharaohs. Um, vegan chocolate milk. Vegan chocolate milk? Chocolate made from just two trees. No, no, no. This was a pretentious one. No, no. Because, because, because it's weird. Because, like, like when you when you say vegan, vegan slash byproduct, right? Yes. yes. You automatically think that they grounded up vegans, <laughs> or it's used from vegans. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, I saw a post on Tumblr once saying that they gave they gave their cat only the finest vegan diets. And everyone was like, "You're not supposed to give your cat a vegan diet." And then, and then she said, "Yes, I. You can. All I do is I kill vegans and I give them to my yeah. cats. Yeah. Yes, the finest vegan diet. <laughs> oh yeah, this was a pretentious one. Vegan coconut milk, ch- chocolate made from just two trees. Oh. Uh... <laughs> hey, you're supposed to chat with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We sound like your regular old druids. Oh, good. <laughs> um, ingredients: cow cow beans, fifty percent. You said it's fifty-two. Oh, cocoa butter, two percent. Coconut sugar, coconut. Made from a made in a factory that handles mu- nuts, mats, and oats. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Origins: organic cow cow beans, Java, Indonesia, coconuts, bottom sugar, organic coconut. Yeah. Oh God, the whole thing is organic. Because. Because usually when it's like when it's say may contain traces of blah 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 and blah blah blah, yeah, that just means that it's made in just one factory. Yeah, that, that's what it means. Well, considering they only get the cow from two beans. 
Yeah, yeah, but it's like it's all done to a factory and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, or kitchen. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. What? What? I didn't think that that was a sticker. I, th- I, I think we can keep the packaging and just yeah. hang it up on the walls. <laughs> because the packaging is basically a cow cow bean with a gigantic eye on it. Oh my goodness, I did not realise that cow cow just joined the Illuminati. Yeah. The picture is basically a cow cow plant that joined the Illuminati. No Confirm- confirmation confirmed. Co- confirmed, yes. We're going to eat Illuminati chocolate. No wonder that everything's organic and, sh- and sugary and only from two of the holiest of the cocoa bean plants. And endorsed by, you know, either a Kardashian or a Swift or something like that. Fair trade. Yeah, endorsed by Fair Trade. Endorsed by, endorsed by Fair Trade. New Zealand made. Keep out of sunlight. Store under 18 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's still normal as chocolate. Anyway, I'm just going to open this up very carefully so that you can pin, this, pin the packaging up on the wall. Oh my goodness! Artwork by Simon Morse, designed by Injet. Okay, Mike, um, do you want to hang this up on your wall? Because it looks awesome. You can. I, I, I have plenty of pins there for you to hang it up on. Can you please sing the, uh, no, hum the song, The Girl from Ipanaya. Ipanaya. I would. Yeah? But I don't even know the song. Do you know the cliched um, lift music that they play in the films? No, but it's okay. Just okay, do... uh, okay, I'll just hum you it's the one that goes do 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 Oh yeah. Okay, can we just hum that please? Do 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 I don't think any of us actually knew what that was, that song. I think we both sung it wrong. It's like, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, oh, how, how does it go again? Oh, never mind. I always but, forget things. But it's okay. That's okay. Um, we've had plenty of conversations over the last three weeks between you. Oh, my goodness. I didn't expect the chocolate to be like this. I did not expect the chocolate to be like this. What is, okay, okay. What, what, what shocks you more? The thing it just broke so it cleanly like that, and they have a symbol in the middle. Do you want to eat the gigantic block or the normal block? Um. They. This is weird. How, how about how, how about we be like a Westminster government? Yes. And cut the cut the smaller third in half. No, I wasn't meaning that, but okay. Because <laughs> you got there, you got there, and then you got there. Who cares? Who cares? Okay. This is disgusting! I genuinely hate this. I can't, I can't believe I'm saying this to chocolate. I genuinely hate this. It's, it's about... Oh, yuck, you... It's about as pretentious as I was expecting. <laughs> Let's just say that. It's about as pretentious as I was expecting. Definitely overhyped and overpriced. And definitely made out of vegans. <laughs> okay, to be fair though, there's probably something that you should know about me. I hate the taste of coconut. Oh, okay. So this tastes like chocolatey, coconutty thing. It's just, no, it's an abomination of nature. Yeah. To me, it tastes like an abomination of nature, and it's, I don't get why I hate, I don't like coconut, but that's why I hate lamingtons. I don't like anything with coconut milk in it. Get out! Get out! <laughs> no, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, anything with just scattered coconut in it, it's gone. Now, I'm kicking it out of the house, unless it's, um, Anzac biscuits. N- that's the only thing that I'll tolerate with coconut in it. Okay, okay. Before we move on. Yeah. The, the, you, you, you know, I, I have to ask a few questions. Yes, go. Um, Do you like this chocolate? Okay. No, 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 no. Are you going no, to keep no. this chocolate? Are you, because I'm not going to keep it. I'm not. I hate this. I am. I'll with... have it. I'll have it. Cle- I'll have it freely. Okay, you have it. You have it. Uh, I'm, don't put this away from me. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere near this thing. No, now. Be, 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 because I'll just take anything because I am under. Oh, maybe I'm about 
if you think about worldwideness, yeah, I'm about to at the world's three percent. World's three percent of what? You know, you talk about the one percent. Oh yeah. I'm about three. I'm the one percent. You're the three percent. Yeah, we'll oh, go yeah. with that. Yeah. Okay, you you have it. So what 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 would you like to ask? Okay. Um, I'm never buying that chocolate ever again. <laughs> because, <That's disgusting. laughs> because, because we need to talk about lemmingtons here. Lemmingtons, yeah. Yeah. Which uh, I hate because yeah. of the fact it's covered in coconut, which I absolutely enrages me. <laughs> now, now, what if it wasn't? Okay, okay. Let, let, let's take down the ingredients of a sponge cake, uh, of a lemmington. Yeah. All right. What's your take on sponge cake? Yeah. Oh, I like sponge cake. You like sponge cake? Yeah. And I'm assuming that you like um, the spreadable layer around it. Yeah. You just don't like the coconut. Okay. If you had a lemon, if you have a coconut-free lemington, I would love it. Okay. But the coconut just ruins everything for me. It's it, it's it's like you like Trump because he's a white man. What do you mean? No, because look, because you like you take the two of the la- that make ninety-five percent. Yeah. Of the actual item, yeah, but you don't like the five percent out there coating. Yeah, I hate the five percent coating because because Trump is clearly orange. He 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 was a white man. Yeah, who ended up wanting to be an orange. <laughs> <laughs> He's a oh, one. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. if you let if you peel if you remove the race the racism the cheating the lying the bastardness yeah yeah I would like Trump yeah 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 see. Thank you. Um, the it, sexism, remove the sexism, the racism, <laughs> the, the isms. The isms. Yeah. And considering that, where is he now? Is no, because he he came out of South Korea, but he's now somewhere else. But in um, Japan. No, no, he was in Japan, North Korea, yesterday. He was in North Korea yesterday. Oh, South Korea yesterday. Thank Sorry. God. Um, and then we have to talk about the setting. Yeah. For Leamington's and your take on it, because you are more. You are a lower percenter than I am. What do you mean? Oh yes, I'm a one percenter, which means I'm a more exclusive <laughs> yes. percenter than you are. Yes. So, um, when was the last time you were at a high tea? I never have been to a high tea before. You've never? Oh my god! I've never been to an actual high tea before. <laughs> oh. Because what? I'm, I'm many things, but I'm not English. <laughs> Even though you talk like what? I talk like an English person, but that's because of my exposure to the BBC all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, oh, this is funny. That I have been to more high teas than Sophie has. That's not difficult to do. <laughs> all you need to do is go one. But to be fair, though, I yeah, been to and, a, and, and trust me, I have been to one. But to be fair, though, I haven't been to an English high tea, but I've been to a Chinese high tea. Ah, oh, that's called, really true. Yes, it's, um, called, it's called Yamcha. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I know what they're talking about now. Um, yeah. They do have high tea at the Lingham. Oh, yes. Josie keeps on yakking on about it. We no, no. Go one day. I know. But it's like 75 bucks. And um, I do have a contact there. Um, a contact? Who? I know a person who works at Lingham. I thought you were fixing for a moment. No, no, no. No, but I know a lot of people anywhere. L- l- like, for instance, a maid of mine. Yes. Who was currently looking for a job because her, her green card expires on the tenth of December? She's in America. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, well, she's technically working for an American university. Oh yeah. Um, but she's currently in Bali at the moment. Oh yeah. Because she's a volcanologist. Oh, cool. Yeah. Explosive personality. Um, not really, but like her master's thesis was about Mount Doom, apparently. <laughs> That's a that's in Catatora or something, rather. Yeah, well, but, yeah, and also... What, what's it called? Catatora? I don't know. Somewhere near Indonesia. I'm very sorry. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Well, she's doing the, um... Because, um, the Argun volcano is very unstable at the moment. Yeah? Where's that? Yeah, in, in, in Bali. In Bali. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, she's monitoring that situation, but... Um, her green card expires on the 10th of December. Yeah? And she's looking for... <laughs> she's looking for a possible employment... Um, but in saying that, um, we're going to take the things that are in a high tea. Yeah. And we're going to talk about it. Okay. Okay. What is your take on very fancy tea? Love them. Love them. Yeah. Be- because 
you, you know, the audience has to know, I know what you're like with tea. Okay, go. That, that you know, the one thing that got me about you is that how I act yeah. in a golfing store, yeah. you act at a tea place. Oh yeah, you've seen me one time, haven't you, in the tea place? Yes, um, yeah, we went to T2 in Newmarket. Yes. And even though that was not up to your standards. Yeah. That just shows. Go. How much that you like tea. Alright, ex- okay, I couldn't see myself in T2. So can you please explain how I acted in T2 for the, to the audience? Besides, you're better at explaining things. Yeah. Um, because you're a psychologist. <laughs> Sociologist. Um, well, well, well th- this was an inner emotion that I got from you yeah. while we're at T two. Uh, you know when you walk, like when a rich person walks into a generic clothing store, yes, like your Kmart and your warehouse, yes, and I'm like, oh, this material is just not going to fit for me. It, you, you know, it's not the right percentage of cotton. No, in there. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to my local boutique, maybe a Caroline Eve or a Glassens, and I'm going to select the right one there. You're going to pay like 400% more. Yes. To satisfy your utility cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, does, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, in Sophie's case, uh, we were at T2 and she was like, I can go to my... I can go to my tea place. Was it in Greyland, I think? No. No? And, and then Chapters I, at, of Mount Eden. Yeah. I was, I was close. I was close. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, I can get it there and I can get a better, better source comes from two trees. <laughs> so, because the one, the one I went to was, um, it was um, a tea place on the outskirts of Hamilton. Yeah. Um, if you know your geography very well, it's um, in between Gordington and Hamilton East. If you go around that way, um, I know that road personally a little bit too well. Why is that? Um, it's the, uh, you know, back in the 80s, it was the um, bypass around Hamilton. Yeah. You can either go around it two ways. You can go around Hamilton East um, and go on the bypass and go around. Yeah. Or you can um, take um, a turn off at Otarahonga yeah. and Narawaya. Yeah. <coughs> and you could bypass Hamilton entirely. Um, this is all different now because of the uh, Waikato Expressway. Oh, yes. Um, you can still go through those turnarounds and cut like shave a few minutes off mm-hmm. but other than that yeah this was this is like pre expressway um and it was very nice and they were playing polo on the grounds oh goodness while we were having a high tea which was adorable <laughs> it, horses it, actual horses actual polo oh my goodness actual polo it, it, it was like it's um so did you suddenly sprout a top hat as well as a morning suit <laughs> No, I am not the guy from Monopoly. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Well, the way you say it, it's almost as if we, we walked into the picture of Doreen Gray. Oh, yeah. You, like, you just walked in through, you just walk into the threshold and suddenly you're Lord Henry or something, Lord Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, that place is more dirty buds of May and I'm more like last of the summer wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we have to talk about the, the steel tray, the three-tiered tray. What's your take on three-tiered stainless steel trays? This is supposed to be silver. See? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What's your take on silver trays? Um, yeah, they're nice. They just need to be polished regularly. Yes. Properly. Properly. And you better be careful when you're polishing them because you might get a weirdly shaped nose. A mishappened nose from <laughs> Breathing in all the chemicals. <coughs> um, I wish that they brought up a folding plastic three-tiered tray. I'm sure it exists. Why would you say that? To make it more accessible to the lo- to the lower percentages. The three percent. So you can just like go like whoop, and it's all tiered all yeah. Oh, I see. Like a um, 
an inflatable tent. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. I was gonna go. Yeah, I was uh, uh, like it can recollapse and uncollapse. Yes. Like if you were, like, folding up a, oh, like a t- like, like something teles- telescopic. Oh yes. Because you, you, you could extend it and then it all shrink down. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Now we're gonna talk about what's in. An English breakfast, a high tea. I've heard about it. So you have your cucumber sandwiches. Cucumber, well, what you're taking cucumber sandwiches? I like them, especially if they have um, egg in them, egg and cucumber. Now, what you'll take, crust versus no crust. I say crust, but I prefer no crust. Okay, because generally at a high tea there will be no crust. Of course, there has there can't be any crust. No, it's too high. Crust is for the lower classes. Yes, um, asparagus rolls. Oh, yum. <laughs> Someone's had a few too many asparagus rolls. Yeah. I like asparagus. Um, fudge. I, I like fudge. Okay. Uh, and then other ingredients that are in there. Um, yeah. And it usually costs about... It's under 100 bucks generally for it. So I, and I went there for my grandmother's 80th birthday. Really? So, would you like to go to the Langham over the holidays? Maybe. 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 Well, you could because because poor Sophie. Yes. Poor Sophie has has exhorted all of my possible resources till June. How? <laughs> How did I do that? Because over lunch, we we doing this after lunch. Like she says, oh, when are you gonna get your computer? Oh, when are you gonna get your glasses? <laughs> So I'm screwed <laughs> till June. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Sophie. I feel so much better right now. <laughs> yeah, but you need them, though. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do need them. Yeah. But, but it's just like, great, I'm screwed till June. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. So, have you ever been to a Yamcha, a Chinese high tea? No, no. Please. It's like an, okay... What do you think of the concept of a buffet that comes to you? Huh. Okay. Care to explain further? Okay. Uh, before you, before I do, uh, would do you think this is superior to the Whitaker's five rolled cream bar? No. If you if you take the veganness out of it, it'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. What do you mean take the veganness out of it? That sort of, that that taste that you think is horrible. Yes. That's the veganness coming out. That's the coconut coming yeah. out. So it's not as good as the five roll. No. That chocolate's double that price per gram. <laughs> That's hilarious. And I hate it. Yeah. It's the worst spend I've ever had. So, like, because cause you would think that the more expensive that you pay for things, the better it is. That's how it should be. That's how it should be? Yeah, and I feel betrayed by that chocolate. <laughs> it's it's down, hand, hands down one of the most disgusting chocolate I've ever tasted. I'm just happy I'm eating chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least it's vaguely good for you. Yeah. Vaguely. Vaguely. I mean, it's not exactly bad for you, but it's... Uh, it's now, now. Chinese high tea, buffet that comes to you. Yeah. I, I am intrigued. Okay. This is what happens. You paper dish, um, like you do it over at um, the Sugar Club. Yeah. But what happens is that uh, all the chefs at, cook everything at once, or pretty much throughout the, throughout the whole time, and then they load the dishes up onto uh, trays, and the waiters... They come out of the kitchen and they basically advertise what they have on their on their um, trolleys. I suppose like they come to you with a trolley and they say, "Oh, I have we have this and this this time." And you can then say, "Oh, I like this and this dish, please." And then they give and then they charge you by the dish, or you say, "No, thank you." And then you know the food just comes to you. So, what you're telling me is, yeah, it's just a past version of Uber Eats, for example. What do you mean? 
or po oh, no, no, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little different, but it's essentially the same thing. Someone brings you a lot of goods and say if you want it or not. Yeah, someone brings you a whole lot of goods and say, if, yeah. Yeah, and considering that you've already paid for it. No, you don't pay for it. You pay for it afterwards. Okay. And you pay for for per dish, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. So say you ate ten dishes. Yes. And you get paid. You pay like what ten dollars a dish? You pay hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And so there's in New Zealand. Um, there are common things amongst all yum cha places that if, if all the establishments seem to have, okay. as could, you could come to expect. They include um, deep fried scoops, uh, deep fried squid arms. They're not quite calamari. Yeah, but I would. But, think... but they're deep fried squid. Yeah, but I think that'll be a lot better than calamari. I would think. What's calamari? It, it it is squid ring. Yeah. But I would think that it is more processed than than your example. Oh, no, no, no. Um, this is not processed. It's just... Yeah, exactly. It's no, not, not processed. Not quite... No, not quite processed. This processed. Yeah. You basically take a squid arm, you put them into batter, then you deep fry them. Yeah. That's that's my favourites. It's one of my parents' favourites. Yeah. There's also chicken feet, which I always get because I love that. Yeah. Um, ice cream balls. Ice cream... Oh, yeah, yeah. Ice cream, I think, yeah. yeah, ice cream balls. Um, egg tarts. Have you ever had an egg tart before? I thought you said egg tart. Egg tart. What's an egg tart? Yeah. <laughs> an egg tart is a tart that you receive electronically. Oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> egg tart. Egg tart. Always the kids' favourite. I never seem to get them because my parents say, no, it's too, it's too much sugar. It's bad for you. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had, had an egg tart? No. There's an egg tart place near here. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go down the way. Okay. I'll get you an egg tart. It's, it's wonderful. It's one of the most heavenly things you can get as a child. Okay. Apart from ice cream balls. Um, what else? Um, okay. Also, veggies. There's always veggies. And dumplings. As well as um, Chinese porridge. Chinese rice porridge. Okay. Yeah. But that... So you have the standard things, and then the restaurants would vary them. Vary the other things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, it, it's sort of half-ish Korean barbecue, half-ish actual buffet. Yeah, what's a Korean barbecue? Um, in a Korean barbecue, that well, well, the ones that I've been to. Yeah. Um, like, you would you would actually get the raw meat, and oh, then, then the trolley. Well, yeah, and then you would actually cook it up on your own station. Oh, okay. So, like, they've got um, a gas cooker on your table. Yes. And you just cook it up that way. The Chinese people do something similar, except it's called the steamboat. Steamboat? Yeah, you grab... Okay, so at the centre of the table, you have... Um, okay, I think we're just going to talk about food this podcast and not bother about the other... We'll, we'll bother about the next topic next soon. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, a, steam, a Chinese steamboat is... Um, so you have a pot of water at the centre of your table, and it's boiling, right, because it's got, um, I guess, fire under the, underneath. And then you get your raw meats and stuff, and you cook the things in the water. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, I, I have seen that before. Yes, where? YouTube, clearly. Um, yeah. Just as I get my high tea knowledge from watching BBC shows. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, they bring it up sort of, like, almost cooked. Yes. And then you would just... Or very thinly shaved pieces. Yeah. Of it, so it's, it can be cooked in five minutes or something. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. That's cool. Huh. Now, what what is the traditions that you would like to try next? Oh, I don't know. Um, Mike, you... Oh... Did you just eat 100 grams of chocolate for five minutes flat? If that is 100 grams, then yes. No, I, uh, yeah, I think that's well, five, well, that's 100 grams, yeah. Mm. Oh, well. Never mind, we said that you eat it, then I eat it, because I hate that thing. It's, how many grams was it? They don't tell you. They don't tell you. No. 
Can't. I can't see. You're blind, Mike. It's only 80 grams. 80 grams. What? Where? 75 to 80 grams. Yeah, so there's still this piece. So you just ate, what, 40 grams of chocolate? That's hardly anything. Thank you. Thank you. Holy moly, what? Did, this is definitely a vibe. Yeah. Oh, man. Anyway, what would you like me to buy next from Pharaohs for the overhyped section of the next podcast? Now, ha, huh, okay, okay, okay. Just name something. Yeah, Pharaohs yeah, yeah. probably have it. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I know Pharaohs has this. Yeah. Um, we'll go with strangely flavoured kombucha. What's a kombucha? Sort of like, it's it's a non-alcoholic. Yes. But it is a fermented drink. Non-alcoholic fermented drink. Do you have go- Do you have internet on your phone on your computer? No, but I do have it on my phone. I'm switching it up. Anyway, next um, food culture meal to try. I would like to try. Um. I would like to, I think I would like to try a uh, fugu. What is a fugu? Like, puffer s- s- fish sashimi. Oh yeah, okay. That's, that's pretty high up there. Yeah, and it's pretty damn deadly. Oh yeah, if you can, if you do it wrong. Yeah, which is, you can easily do it wrong. Hey y'all. Thank you. This might even be too weird for them. No. Trust me, it's not. Organic, organic smoothie, OM kombucha, and free hugs. Yeah. Perfect afternoon tea pick me ups. They have a coffee called, called kombucha. <laughs> That's a coffee though, not a tea. No. Oh. Trust me, it'll be at Pharaoh's. Okay. okay. So you want me to get? Okay. If I can't find a kombucha, let's just try overly priced teas. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, and you have to bring a kettle. Do you have a kettle? Or? No. You do have hot water downstairs, right? Yes. So, oh, I've got a tar- I've got a TARDIS. Teapot. Oh yeah. I've got a TARDIS teapot. I'll bring that in next time then. Yeah. What's this? Ritual Tea Company. Daily Organics Kombucha. Winter Kombucha and Coffee Kombucha. It's in the cold drink section. Okay. 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 If not, okay, so next time is kombucha or teas. Yeah. In general, okay. Yeah, so just making sure. Yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you hear about kombucha? Well, well, you know, all of those pretentious white people always go on and on about it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I haven't well, heard them. But I'm like, man. I thought you were still stuck on their paleo diets. <laughs> Kombucha's not paleo. <sighs> That is, yeah, no, yeah, it's not. But, yeah, yeah, because plenty of people did not discover tea. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, but in saying that, have you had any New Zealand-ish delicacies at all? Such as? S- such as a hangi or a boil-up or hoo-hoo grubs or... Not, haven't had hoo-hoo deep grubs, fr- not. deep fried wetter. Not. I never even had, um, what's it? The one with a million eyes and the patty? White oh, bait. white bait. White bait. Huh. I never even had white bait. So. Oh, that could change. Why? That could change. Um, Do you have white baits in the freezer right at this moment? No, but I can. How? Um, go to New World and grab it. But that's too expensive for you. If you had a mate that somehow randomly had white bait in his freezer, well, then I can understand. Well, 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 let's just say I know that my uncle technically has white bait right now. Yeah. Because he went white baiting on Monday. Yeah. But <laughs> but yeah. Is this a half moon bay uncle? Yeah, that's a half moon bay uncle. Well, if you can get, get white bait for free, then that's awesome. But honestly, white bait usually costs like a few million bucks per kilo. Yeah. Trust me, I know. Okay, yeah. I know. Um... Yeah, White Bait Fritters, actual good book to read. 
good teen book to read. What's it about? A moldy family having white bait fritters and the family scuffles and all that sort of stuff. It's done by Witty Hittemider who wrote Well Rider. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a great film. Yes. Now, should we end it there? Well, one more question for you, Mike. <gasps> if you are, if you are going to ask me what I what I should what I want to try next, so what do you want to try next? I'm throwing the question back to you now. Huh. Um. I haven't really thought of any... Oh! Got it! What? Wagyu! That's the marbleized beef that costs a billion dollars a buck, right? Yeah. A billion dollars a kilo from yep. Japan. Yeah. And every day they'll massage it and play bark to it, make sure it's completely relaxed. Yeah. Make sure the fat's evenly spread across the body, the the cow's having such a great time, and sudden, suddenly bang. Yeah. Or I would want to go to a to a hedgehog cafe. Yeah, that would be sweet. We get the pet hedgehogs and. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's about it. On to the next podcast now. So, <laughs> this has been the. Edge and other side of podcast. You can contact us on our various means that we that we've talked about it over thirty times. Oh, we're just going to say usernames now. I'm Sophie nine seven nine nine. Just Google me. And I'm the Manus. Just Google me. And, and as if you want to contact the podcast in general, as your undecided podcast at gmail dot com or ayu podcast at ayu podcast. In the meantime, Mike's getting high off chocolate, and I cannot believe he likes coconuts. <laughs> <laughs>